Today, I've done some cutting tests using the Laser Packer 4 on a variety of woods. Um, here, let me go through my findings one by one. So, the first one is ash. This piece of wood is 5.6 millimeters thick. I use 100% power, 100% depth, and five passes to make this clean cut. This is the back. And I also did this um, engraving. This is using the default setting. Um, I think it was 2K resolution. That means 20 dots per millimeter. This is 30 millimeters across, 25 millimeters high, using 5% depth, which is a default setting, uh, one pass only. You can see where the grains are. They are a bit darker than the rest. Overall, I think this is pretty good. This one is balsa wood. Uh, you commonly find this for crafts, I think. Uh, this particular piece is 3.3 millimeters thick. My first try, two passes didn't give me a clean cut. It's like this. So I did another one with three passes, gave me a clean cut. Again, this is the default engraving setting on wood. It's quite even. And all the details and bulky parts came out really well. Um, the whole thing took 40 seconds to do. I used the same setting, which is a default wood setting, 2K resolution on all of the wood I tested. Next one, this is oak. This is too thick for cutting. So I just did an engraving test. Looks really good. This is oak as well. It's thinner. Uh, I did a few attempts. Three passes, four passes, five passes. Made a clean cut. This was uh, 3.4 millimeters. So three passes, four passes, five passes. Next one, here we have ash. Oh, we have another ash here. Yeah, yeah, there's a second ash. Uh, I think this one is slightly thinner. Yeah, this is 3.2 millimeters. Took three cuts for clean cut. This one was 5.6, five cuts. This is the back of it, very clean cut. Next one we have, uh, I believe this is called tulip, tulip wood. So this one, 100% power, 100% depth, five passes for clean cut, 5.1 millimeters. So this was an easy job. The next three are not so successful tests. First one, purple heart, this piece of wood is really hard. Um, so here I did 10 passes, 12 passes, 4.7 millimeters. This one I call it okay result. So this is 10 passes, 12 passes. There's a tiny bit of here still connected, but every, everywhere else is like cut through fully. I can use a sharp knife just to cut it here to remove this piece. But as you can see, this is really burnt. Um, to reduce charring and burning, you can use high power but very low depth. So here I use 100% depth. That means the laser moves very slowly across the path. Um, if you use something like 30%, but give it far more passes like I don't know, 30 passes or even 50 passes, you might be able to get a clean cut, but um, it's not realistic, not practical. So I wouldn't recommend cutting Purple Heart. Next one is Elm. The engraving looks really nice. Um, this is still um, the default engraving setting, 5% depth only. Uh, as for cutting, first one, 
10 passes, second one 13 passes, and this is 7 millimeters thick. So that's 10 passes, 13 passes. Um, it's loose, it's loose, there's a tiny bit of wood connected still. Again, I can cut it off and call it a successful cut, but still some charring here. Uh, you can reduce charring and smoky on the on the surface by putting a masking tape on here and then engrave over the masking tape and finally just remove everything. Or you can use a brush or sandpaper to clean off the surface. Um, so elm is doable, but this is a seven millimeters. If you cut something like up to five millimeters, I think the laser packer four can easily do it. And finally, olive wood. This was really tough. Um, I did five passes, 10 passes, 25 and 30. It's 6.2 millimeters thick. So here, yep, you can see the star is loose, but it's missing quite a bit. Um, and it's, it's, it's very burnt. I don't know. I wouldn't recommend cutting this using laser. Um, but it's, it's a really nice piece of wood. Um, it's very smooth. Feels really dense. I think for laser engraving, as you can see here, it's going to be really nice. Um, now, my tip for cutting thick wood, for example, um, this one. So previously, I made an illustration. I just put this random thickness here. Um, if you focus really well on the top surface, as the laser cuts deeper, the laser is going to be out of focus and the cut won't be so clean. It's going to have a hard time at the bottom layers. So instead, if you try to focus in the middle, of this material being cut, then it's going to be half as much out of focus as here. And then you get a much better average cut or say overall cut along the entire thickness of the material. Um, I know sometimes it's really difficult, especially if the piece of wood is really thick, like I had a seven millimeters thick wood. Um, the way I did that was, uh, let me find it. So this one, this is seven millimeters one. So what I did was I found a thinner board that's roughly half as thick as this one. It doesn't have to be super accurate. So instead of putting this board under the laser, focus the red dots here on the surface. I removed it, I focus the red dot here on this piece of wood, which is thinner, it's like three and a half mil, and then I put this one underneath for cutting. So the focus is in the middle of the wood. Right, um, I think that's all I want to share today, thank you very much.